so. Let me say it again, Cam. I may be a superhero, but I'm also just a man who fell in love with the wrong woman. Just a man who fell for the wrong woman. Uh, fell for the wrong woman. But, but out of out crisis of, comes uh, change. Crisis. Out of crisis so, uh, comes uh, change. Here. Uh, so, so I spent the last year really slowing down, down and, and reconnecting with myself. And I am very excited for everyone to meet the real me. There's something wrong with Homelander. There's something broken. He's lost his mind. Love, mommy, daddy, and Abu. Butcher! Hey, yo! Oh. We've been on the straight and narrow all year. No killing soups, no drinking. Even follow Hugh Campbell's orders without strangling him. Now you're just being cruel. Or maybe you're not such an asshole. People are superpowers. But real power isn't this. It's the ability to bend the world to your will. The gloves are off. I thought we could fight Vought the right way, but we can't. It's all rigged. We have to do it your way. We're all we've got. It's up to us. I think I have something. Maybe we can use it to blow Homelander's fucking brains out. What's this? Makes you a soup for 24 hours. You're gonna need it. The whole point of what we do is that no one should have that kind of power. For once, I'll level the fucking playing field. I show people the real me. <laughs> I mean, they fucking love me. By the heroes and fuck, fuck, fuck! Christ, soldier boy. Oh, shit! Welcome back, everyone. This will be my video for The Boys Season 3 trailer. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs here. We found out a little bit more about Jensen Ackles' Soldier Boy character and how he gets released and what's going on with Butcher, his Compound V powers, and what's going on with Homelander, just going completely off the rails. I'll be doing videos for all the episodes just like I did for Season 2 and Season 1, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. We're going to be getting episodes really soon. We'll just start at the beginning of the trailer, talk about all the WTF moments, and there are many WTF moments as we go along in Easter eggs from the comics. They start with what seems like footage from early in the episodes with Homelander just slowly losing his mind talking to these nude broadcasters. You actually see that they're at the premiere of the Dawn of the Seven, which is the big Justice League and Avengers Endgame Marvel parody that they were shooting last year during season two. When he's talking about being a man who fell in love with the wrong woman, he's talking about Stormfront because they made a big deal about their relationship. I think later in the trailer when we find out more about how they released Soldier Boy from cold storage, he's in that special Vought facility in cryostasis. I think that's actually what's happening to Stormfront right now. She's in a facility kind of like that. I'll talk about Jensen Ackles' character when we get to that part of the trailer because it takes a little while to actually reveal him, but we learn more about what his role in the actual series is. It is funny to see Stan Edgar in the background watching Homelander as he's losing his mind, like just making sure that you're saying everything that I told you to say. When he's talking to Starlight saying that real power isn't having superpowers itself, like real power isn't being Homelander flying around just being super strong. Real power is bending the world to your will, which is all about their White House subplot in the government. Vought's whole thing, Stan Edgar's whole thing, is that he wants to control the White House so that he can affect public policy because that's where real power is. If you can change the law, then that's real power. That dovetails with what's going on with Victoria Newman. She's still really shady. Obviously, we see way more footage of her at Vought's headquarters. Because we know that she's a Compound V superhero, that means that she would have had to get Compound V from Vought at some point. She's based on the Vic the Veep character who was the CEO of Vought at one point in the comics. Obviously, it's different on the TV show. In early theory, Victoria Newman is just part of his long game to try and eventually control the White House. 
So even though the government has this new federal branch, this new department that's meant to police superheroes that she's in control of, that Huey is working for, it sounds like Stan Edgar is secretly controlling that and just using it to manipulate the public and make them think that Victoria Newman is really awesome so that eventually it will advance her political career. She can run for office and that will be his plant in the White House eventually. Because during the comic book, Vic the Veep is called Vic the Veep because he is the vice president of the United States inside the White House. Either way, I cannot wait to see her popping some heads during season three. Wouldn't be a season of the boys if they didn't play with all of Homelander's vices like he just seems completely zoned out, going straight to the source, getting his milk right from the cow. It also seems like he's sitting in a hospital bed. You can only imagine where that blood came from, but it's just scenes of him being a complete degenerate like you expect. <laughs> Just another Tuesday pulling on an udder. Was that a cow's udder? That yeah, was. I don't remember that in the script. Then the whole thing with the butcher character during the trailer is they're trying to show you that he is potentially just as bad as Homelander, especially when he gets superpowers, which is why when they give him compound V superpowers with that 24 hour green special serum, his laserized powers are obviously meant to be a joke about laser baby. Like he has become the laser baby this season, but they look a lot like Homelander's powers because Homelander has laser eyes. He's not the only person blowing up stuff like obviously Soldier Boy goes completely crazy. We'll learn more about his true powers, but they want to show you Butcher just going completely off the rails the same way that Homelander is going off the rails. It's more of them driving home that line in the trailer where they say that no one is meant to have this kind of power. Like anyone who gains this level of power becomes terrible. It's true of Butcher. It's true of Homelander. It's true of Victoria Newman because she seems just as terrible as the rest of them popping everyone's heads. It really is a show where everybody winds up being a different level of terrible. We find out a little bit what's going on with Ryan's character. Remember, he's basically the only deterrent that they have for Homelander long term. Like it seems like Soldier Boy has some crazy powers that he'll be using during the season or losing control of during the season. Butcher gets power for at least 24 hours. But really, if you're thinking about the long game, potentially they're setting up Ryan as a sort of Superboy versus Homelander Superman type of character by the end of the series. It's just that he's so young right now, he's not ready for something like that. But when all the characters start going off the rails, they show you him slowly going off the rails. So they're just trying to tease you that under the right circumstances, he could potentially become just as bad as Homelander eventually. They have the funny joke about Butcher following Huey Campbell's orders. Remember, he's working for Victoria Newman. He's trying to go on the straight and narrow. But like later in the trailer, just within a short period of time, he says, oh, things don't work. The government doesn't work. We have to do things your way again. Where he goes to Queen Maeve, who's the person who gives him that special compound V formula that'll give him powers for 24 hours without making him explode. One of the big things during season two is they found that special facility where they were experimenting on compound V, trying to give it to adults without making them die. Within the world of the boys, Compound V really only works on children when they're babies. If you give it to adults, it'll just kill them outright. So during season two, they were just experimenting with a way to give it to adults without doing that. And that's where the special green formula comes from. We get a bunch more scenes with Mother's Milk's family. We learn about his daughter who's having her 10th birthday. They're having a seven theme birthday party, which is really ironic given everything that they've done trying to fight the seven the past couple seasons. His daughter's named Janine. She's dressed in the starlight costume. It also seems like his ex-wife has been remarried to this person here. He's dressed in a Homelander costume and she's had a son with him after she's been remarried, who's also dressed like Homelander, which is even more ironic given how much happened with Homelander the past couple seasons, which is all part of Stan Edgar's conversation that he has with Starlight about what real power is, controlling what people think and what they do. Then the way they play the Jensen Ackles, Soldier Boy, and Payback reveal in the trailer, they make it sound like that's part of the Compound V Butcher reveal too. Like the whole reason Soldier Boy winds up coming back has something to do with Butcher trying to get at Homelander in the Seven. So the whole thing with the Soldier Boy reveal is they show Jensen Ackles in flashbacks, which seems like maybe the Vietnam War or the Gulf War. It seems closer to the Vietnam War. One of the files he has also seems like it goes all the way back to World War II era, which is a big comic book Easter egg because we learned during season two that it was actually Stormfront who was technically the world's first superhero, like the first person to actually survive a compound V treatment. In the comics, Soldier Boy was the Americans attempt during World War II to create their very first superhero as well. It was successful, but he just got Captain America like powers. In the trailer, it seems like this version of Soldier Boy that Jensen Ackles is playing has way more secret compound V powers that we're learning about because he gives off all this pent up compound V energy kind of like a bomb, like he has bomb powers. The way they're playing this though is that Payback is just the team in the flashbacks that Soldier Boy ran when he was active. The big thing with the Payback team in the comics is that they're meant to be this big Marvel Avengers parody and they're sort of like a backup team to the Seven. The Seven is still like the main superhero team in the world of the boys. Payback is like the B team where you put all the people who are almost ready to go on the Seven. 
This poster shows you everybody else that was on the team. It was Black Noir, so it seems like Black Noir has been around for a long time as well. Lori Holton is playing a version of Crimson Countess, who's their version of Scarlet Witch. Sean Patrick Flannery is playing their version of Gunpowder with the guns. He's a Judge Dredd parody. These two twins are called the TNT twins. They're brand new characters that they created for the show. This character with the wings is called Swato. He's an Ant-Man parody, or you could call him a Wasp parody. This other character without armor seems like he's meant to be a parody of Professor X. In universe, they have a team called the G-Men. They're sort of like their version of the X-Men, but they're meant to be just as terrible as the characters that you see on the seven. If you zoom and enhance on his old file here, you can see him obviously wearing a much older looking version of his costume. That's meant to be another Easter egg for the comic book version. It's like Captain America's old World War II costume before he got his brand new Avengers costume. But you see in the file that Vought found him while he was in jail for gambling. So it seems like he was just this original common criminal that Vought experimented on with Compound V giving him powers and then turned him into an early version of what Homelander eventually became. And it seems like because he's been in cryostasis and Butcher breaks into this facility and just accidentally finds him like, what? Soldier Boy, where'd you come from? It seems like when he went off the rails, Stan Edgar wanted to control him, like put him on ice, literally by putting him in cryostasis. And it seems like that's just what Stan Edgar does to superheroes who go off the rails. So that's why I say that might be what he did with Stormfront at the end of last season, because the showrunner revealed that Stormfront is still alive, even though she went completely Anakin Skywalker, got all of her limbs cut off and turned into a piece of burnt toast. They also had that funny scene with Jensen Ackles with that giant beard on that looks like it's right after he comes out of cryostasis is meant to be a big Easter egg for the end of the first Captain America movie where he comes out of the ice and looks around in present day and just tries to acclimate to what things have turned into while he's been on ice. The douchiest version of Captain America you could possibly imagine. But if you have any questions about what's going on in the trailer or any big Easter eggs that you spotted that I didn't talk about in my previous trailer videos, just write them below in the comments. We'll be getting episodes really soon, so obviously I will do episodes for everything just like I did for season two. While you wait for everything, click here for my full Doctor Strange 2 breakdown and Easter eggs for the entire movie, and click here for my Doctor Strange 2 post credit scene video and learn about who Clea is. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.